So like you work with, you know, Studio Orange right now, which, you know, I, I would say, I think it's like the premier studio for 3D, like 3D animation. Mm. I mean, you, uh, Studio Orange has made shows like, you know, Beastars, Trigun, Hoseki no Kuni as that well, I believe yes. as well. And I feel like Studio Orange is like leading the charge to like make sure that 3D animation gets a good rep, yeah. especially from anime. Definitely. Um, how much exposure do you get from the fan base in terms of their preconceptions oh. with 3D anime? I know, um, I mean, it's a really great honor that a lot of fans consider this that. Yeah. Um, from our perspective, we actually feel a little bit more different. We're just using it as a tool right. to, because all our CEO is animator. Right, and he wants to just fully express um, whatever he wants to. So he just we're just using that as a tool. Okay, okay. So there wasn't was there ever like a conscious choice of like this is why we're using three D, or was it just kind of like it just kind of made sense? Mm -hmm. So to be um, as the studio was found about one animator, mm, yeah, he was working for a Jump art manga artist as an right. assistant mm, back right. then. He found Pixar. He found Toy Story, mm. and he suddenly got this what do you call? Clar clarity that yes. like it's, yeah. it's CG animation yeah. from there. Right, on. right. Oh. oh, that's interesting because I know like a lot of, well, a lot of Japanese anime and the animation industry is based around 2D anime. So I think it's cool that, you know, there's a lot, there's been a lot of experimentation done with 3D animation in the past industry. And I feel like Studio Orange just ends up doing things a little bit differently. Mm. Yeah, you guys kind of just like figured it out, I guess, <laughs> is like the best way to put it. Like, yeah. cause you know, there's, there's been like, even if you go back to like early 2000s, right? There were not full 3D anime, mm -hmm. but you know, definitely like a lot of 3D artists working on like backgrounds or like, you know, action sequences and stuff like that. But there were so many shows in my opinion, where it's just, it was very obvious. Yeah. That there was, this is 3D mm. and then everything else is in 2D, right? But there's something about the work of Studio Orange where it almost blurs that line. Yeah. To the point where sometimes I'm watching it and I almost forget that it's actually 3D. Yeah. If right. that makes sense. So it's like, do you, do you think there's like some kind of a- What's, of, what's, what's your secret? Yeah, what's what the secret? <laughs> yeah. That's, what, that's, that's yeah. what we're trying to Like what, what makes about. Studio Orange just yeah. like stand out so much in the field of so 3D animation? I actually, to any business partner, what I explain is that we're actually the hentai of anime industry. <laughs> so hentai- Hold on, I need wait, you to elaborate. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Please. Like, like yeah. So Dito. hentai has in <laughs> sense of Japanese term hentai. So yeah. not the adult hentai anime. Okay. Like the weirdos, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're the psychopath, we're the maniacs. Yeah. Right. So like what, what, okay, let's, there's so much I want to ask, but in terms of like, can you like elaborate on that? What do you do differently uh, in terms of like everyone else right now in the industry, in your minds, that makes Studio Orange work stand out? Uh, I mean, nowadays um, there's so many actually CD studios actually starting to rise. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dragon Ball, super amazing. Yeah. Um, Slam, Slam Dunk, that's that blew my mind. Oh, yeah. 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 I haven't but seen that. Have you seen that? Yeah. I, I saw bits and pieces of it, but yeah. I haven't actually seen the full movie. It Highly looks, it. yeah, it, I've only heard amazing things about it. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah, every time I see like 3D, like anime, I, I'm not gonna lie. Part of my brain is like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had that exact same reaction when I saw that Beastars was getting an anime, yeah. right? Because like compared to the manga, which is like Itagaki Pato's style is very sketchy and like very mm. rough, like clearly just like, you know, rough around the edges, but in the best way possible. And then when I heard that, oh, Beastars is getting an anime. And as a manga fan, I was like, this is great. I fucking love Beastars. And then the moment I saw the trailer, I was like, there was a part of me that was like, Oh no, <laughs> it's in 3D. But then when I saw the Studio Orange name, I was like, okay. Yeah. You know what? Th there's a chance that it'll be good. And thankfully, fucking amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely incredible. I think it is really that um, we're literally focused on the, what is the essence of that. Right. Mm. So Beastars, the drawing is really fantastic, mm. but there's mm -hmm. uh, to recreate that in CG, it's possible. But CZ, there's a lot of um, tools that you need. So right. it's going to cost a lot of money to recreate that. Mm. Yeah. So what is the essence? What can we pick out to the essence and whatever that's possible within our realm right now to adapt it? I think that's right. what we're really great at. Mm. I, I'm, I'm curious, do you think in your opinion is 
3D animation harder than 2D animation, or is it just that they have different strengths rather than one being harder than the other? They definitely have different strengths. Right. Um, hand drawn, I mean, if you have a pencil and paper, you just start yeah. um, with whatever skill you have and imagination. Yeah. 3D, you have to know, have a tool. So it's all based yeah. on formulas and numbers and stuff. Right. Mm. Because I feel like a lot of the preconception, especially with a lot of, you know, people who watch anime is that, you know, we've seen, I guess, the evolution of the use of 3D in anime. And a lot of the times they always felt like 3D was used, maybe it's as like a tool that meant, you know, you had to put less work in uh, rather than- To cut than, costs, right? Yeah, to cut yeah. costs and to cut production time and stuff like that. But I think one thing that really sets Studio Orange apart is that instead of using it as like, kind of like a cost cutting technique, you kind of like use the tool to its fullest potential, which we mm -hmm. see with of a lot of your work. And I was wondering, did that philosophy like come right at the get go? Or was it just, you know, your CEO being like, I want to do 3D. This is the way forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, it started out with that, I'm on do 3D. Um, right. So his professional work, I don't know a lot of people who watches this, um, but there's a show called Zoids. Which oh, was I remember banger. that. Banger oh show. Oh my God. <laughs> banger <laughs> show. Yeah. I've Hell not yeah. seen Zoids. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's one of the first commercials. So it's, basically it's reboot of Japan. Japanese oh. anime. You yeah. know the oh. reboot show? Uh, I mean, no, I didn't. It was, it was on know? British TV at a point, like ITV. Oh, like, with that one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the it's, one anime? It, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, in US cartoon, we yeah. had reboot. Oh, as a yeah. distance in Japan, Zoids was equivalent to a reboot. Oh, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What? So, what? Like, I'm curious. What is your opinion of the evolution of like the use of 3D in anime from like the past like decade or so? Because we we see oh. it quite a lot more often now. Mm. Evolution. Hmm, that's a hard <laughs> question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think really what Japan needed was the budget time to really grow. Mm. Right. I mean, Hollywood had. Twice, or uh, not twice, I mean, digits different a budget yeah, time yeah, to yeah. invest yeah. on. Yeah. And everything was in English, so CG software was all primarily English. Right, right. So oh, Japan yeah. Japan oh. needed to adapt to that. So oh, we started okay. off later than the. You gotta learn the English movie. first before yeah. you can even start modeling, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, our CEO bought this um, 30K software back then. Right. And right. the manual was all English, so he's like doing dictionary and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, yeah, that'll take a while. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I remember like growing back, uh, going back to like growing up in anime in like the mid 2000s. I remember like, was it like Studio Gonzo or something that used a lot of 3D? Uh, go, like, uh, also, yeah. Go Hands as well. Oh, Go Hands as well. Go yeah, hands. Yeah, Gonzo did like Gantz. Yeah. They did uh, Gankutsuo as well. Mm -hmm. And they had like the 3D back then was, let's say, very different from what it like what it looks like now mm -hmm. and just seeing the progression of 3D. People will still always complain about 3D, but I feel like now is getting to the point where it's becoming a lot less noticeable. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I think is a which I think is the big thing. Would you say a lot of that is just the industry kind of like learning the software properly and seeing how it's like how knowing how to use it properly? Yeah, I think um, over, overall and throughout the entire industry it's starting to reach that point, the breaking point right. that everything is starting to evolve. Right. What What do you think is like the secret, like to making something that, to integrating 3D into anime? Mm. Because I, I feel like Studio Orange do it the best, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, like again, it was that, like as I was saying with Beastars, it's like, it's almost, it's, you know, it's 3D, but there's a feeling and I don't know if it's like the movement or the, the coloring, the shading, whatever it might be, that just makes it, you, it makes you forget it's 3D. And I think that's the best 3D in anime where it's like, it doesn't, it, there isn't this like weird thought in the back of your head of I'm watching a 3D anime. Yeah. I'm just watching a good anime, right? 60 FPS, isn't it? 60, 60 <laughs> FPS <laughs> anime. 60 FPS. Who would have thought? <laughs> I better get a bro graphics card. Yeah, right. 